see my outfit? It's looking festive. What's up, besties? So today we're gonna be hanging out at home and I thought that we could do some festive things because honestly, October, we're not in October, we're in September, whatever. Fall season, spooky season, it's my favorite of the year. I don't know why, it's just good. Like, I got a couple candles rolling right now and these are just the best ones, the best scents and I love it. Also, I got this new plant. I feel like that's pretty festive too. Anyways, so we're gonna do a total of, I don't know, maybe like three activities. We'll see how we feel, but for starters, I got two of these. They're, they're haunted houses, and I was originally going to build it with somebody, but as we all know, I don't have friends, and this is what we're gonna be doing. we will be doing one by myself. I have my cameraman here though, so I was okay. gonna say, am I a friend? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Hanman is my friend. He's my only friend, but whatever. Before we start the haunted mansion decorations, we're also going to be making brownies! It matches my festive outfit. Brownies for the brownies. Brownies for the brownies. These aren't like super, super festive, but I have some ingredients from the last baking challenge that we did. I didn't get like a whole bunch of like oranges or anything, but oranges. it's fine. Like orange coloring, it's okay. They're still gonna be festive and they're still gonna be cute. They're gonna be tasty and that's that. So we're gonna get the oven preheated, start doing this, and then we'll work on the haunted hats. I'm just gonna start with the easy stuff. We're gonna preheat the oven to 350. They requested a stick of butter, but I have my vegan buttery bread, so <laughs> we're just gonna see if this works. I'm gonna hope it is. I have two of these, so it's fine. I'm I'm gonna wash my hands, actually. Obviously, if Hanman wants some, you know, I don't want him to eat my dirty hands, so we're just gonna Oops. really get in there. Really nice. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna take another one here. Also close enough. Perfect. Now we're gonna melt it. Something exploded in my microwave a while ago. I made like a chicken. Just don't talk about it. Everything's dirty here, but it's not. But it kind of is. But I clean sometimes. I found these in my closet yesterday. I don't know how they got in there, but they're here now. Perfect timing. Ooh. Yeah. Pretty. Okay, what else? We need two tablespoons of water. Okay, there we go. Yeah! Um, egg. This is from the last time. I haven't really used them. Okay, I used them like one other time, but. Oh yeah, this will be like the sick B-roll. I love watching uh, Joshua we Weiss, Weissman, Weissman. I like watching him cook. He's gonna like fill out in the whole pan, to be honest. So we stirred it all together. It looks really good. I kind of want to lick it and taste it, but I'll be respectful of others and wait. Although it does look really good. I'll just wait until we scoop it out. So next, spread it out. Let's see how much we can actually get on here. I'll just try and keep it like in one general area. <laughs> oh yeah. How are we looking? Sexy and chocolate, it's dark and handsome, or, uh, so yeah. <laughs> Words are hard. Words are hard, yes. yeah. Tall, dark, and handsome, that's what I meant. That's how I like my brownies. All right, now we're moving on to the cookie portion. We need one fourth cup butter. Okay, so actually I messed up the first one and I put in both servings of butter into one, but I already tasted the brownie mix a little bit and it was fine, like it wasn't that bad. It was a little salty, but. I was into it. It is the cookie mix. It is chocolate chip. Can't open it. I'm trying. Okay. Woohoo! Big summer blow. Remember that? Frozen. Yeah. I'm feeling like a chef now. I'm going fast. I feel like Gordon could not handle me. You put me on the show. I'm done in five minutes. And it tastes delicious. Yeah. <laughs> This one is not mixing up as easily, but it's coming together slowly. These are supposed to be like a little bit thicker, I think, because these are gonna be balls, big balls, balls of chocolate, cookie doughs, balls and uh, balls. So might even get my hands in there to, to make the balls. I have to do that actually anyways. Oh no. Um, it snapped. <laughs> Got another one. This one's a little shorter and a little bent, but nothing I haven't seen before. I make a lot of wiener jokes, sorry. Which speaking of,
Guess what it is? It's bold and brash, baby. Bold and brash. But in brownie cookie form. I don't even know if that'll cook all the way through because it's so thin. <laughs> We're preheated and ready to go. Bold and brash is going into the oven. See you later, skater. And that's how you do that. Now, you don't even know how long that took because I know it's gonna be chopped down, but that took a while. Now we're getting into fun stuff. We're getting into the haunted house making, so we're gonna move over to the crafts table after I wash my hands. Now I gotta figure out how to open this. Nice. These are a bit sus. I don't like what they did with the design there. Oh my God. Woo! Yeah! Is this? Oh, these are the pieces. And then we got the tacky glue. Oh, the googly eyes. We can put these on the brownies, but maybe not. We can't eat them, but we can look at them. Yeah! Period. These are so fun. Little pom-poms. Let's check on the brownies. Oh, wow. <laughs> it looks like poo. It might turn out to be something good, though. We'll just trust the process. Let it keep baking. And honestly, that'd be kind of good if, like, the cookies were unbaked a little. Because I kind of like cookie dough. So it's like the brownies would be good. Then maybe that's kind of, like, just, like, squishy-ish still. I don't know. That's, that's what it's all about. So back to my haunted mansion. This might be a very long process because I'm gonna have to figure, this is not for kids, they're totally lying. What kid is gonna know, oh, you know what? This is the side of the house, I'm gonna put it here. Maybe kids do know and I'm just slow. I don't really know, but whatever. I'm gonna guess this actually is probably on the side though. And then I have to tacky glue it there. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I really, Hyman, you wanna help me? I got you. <laughs> This is it, bold and brash, baby. It actually cooked really good. Seems good, it's like pretty solid. We're gonna let that cool off. Should I put it in the fridge? Is that what you do for these kinds of things? Do you okay. cool it in the fridge or does that ruin it? I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the fridge because I'm really excited to eat it. Should I say that again? We'll yeah. add a little frosting on the tip. Let's see what kinds of toppings we can put on this. This sword here. I'm just gonna put this here. How childish is this? Like, how bad is this? I feel like I feel like my people might like it, though. Like, I feel like that's my audience. My audience is into this. They're down for it. They're feeling it. I'm feeling it. Literally. Yeah, literally. Okay. Any other spots? Like, maybe on the nuts? I mean, the eyeballs? Oh, the eyeball? I think it look like eyes. It's oh, yeah. No, you're little white part of our eyes. Yeah. And then I can put the chocolate. Oh, my God. Yes. Brown eyes. Brown eye. <laughs> to do the chocolate for the eyeballs. Brown eyes should be appreciated too. Cute, we love a good brown eye. Okay, bold and brash. Is that fucked up? That's too much, that's too much, isn't it? I'm just gonna mix it around actually. Oh man, it's fine. <laughs> I think we're done here. Now do we eat it? Yeah. Hey, we finished it. This is the haunted house. Got a little bit over it by the time, you know, it came to details, painting all of these things, but it doesn't matter. You can't see it. That's why there's cobwebs. He just didn't get his house finished. Um, this is what it looks like. This is what it is. It's spooky and it's sick and we love it. Super fun, so festive. As you can see here, there's a little bit of a uh, blood splattering on the shutters, yes. And then we have a nice, poop green door for spooky, spooky stuff. And then the skull, I mean, come on. So many details. And that's my cat Casper, but purple because we didn't use purple that much and I like it. So that's that. I'm gonna wash my hands really quick and then we'll get back to the outro. All right, thanks for watching. Um, I had a whole bunch of fun doing all these fun arts and crafts and I'm probably gonna make a TikTok video doing some more like costume try on hauls and stuff also. So look forward to that once I'm unbanned. I've been banned for a week. But on the 26th, I'll be unbanned. But yeah, I had so much fun hanging out with you guys. I hope you had uh, 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 fun hanging out with me. <laughs> I don't know why I just messed up my words there. But yeah, this is great. Happy, not Halloween yet, but happy fall, because we're in fall now. Okay, see you next week, bye.